Welcome to everything you need to know about the infected version 13 beta. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is the barbed wire fence. It takes three iron ignits and three iron fragments. So apparently the mini boss will just demolish this. This, apparently they get stuck on. But I want to test out a few things. Stone crates, pumpkin crate, water mountain crate now. That's actually really cool. By the way, I don't know if I said this already, but I did copy my world over. So that way I don't have to start from scratch. If you're someone that wants to try the beta out, I highly recommend doing that. If you haven't, you know, already started the game. Because, I mean, look at this. It's way easier than having to start a whole new game. I did get the truck last episode. Okay, how the fuck did he get inside? I heard a frog. Yeah, so they literally give you one meat. It's, it's pretty crap, I'll be honest pretty crap okay 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 you win you win you win <sighs> no no I'm getting stuck Fuck me. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm kinda more worried about the big guy though. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Is someone in the chat room? What's going on? I can't see a message. Fuck! <laughs> yes! Okay, I got him! I think there's still one more guy around. Okay, so basically that is exactly what I wanted to test out. Um, if my signpost thing still worked and it doesn't. So it doesn't work in version 13 anymore. He did not put that in the bug fixes. <laughs> I wish he put that in the bug fixes. So this is what the mini boss looks like. Let's get real close. And we got 12 Kevlar. 12 Kevlar is pretty impressive. But we're going to build a lot more stuff. Oh no, look at that. We need way more. We need 6. Okay, let's move on to our next project. Oh, they've added this wire pole. So, you used to, what you used to do is you go to construction and go to wooden pillar. And now there's this wire pole. And you can put it anywhere you want. So, it only takes 3 logs. So, I think we should try and build it. Look at that, okay. But the whole point of the pole is you can put it anywhere you want. These ones you have to put on the corner of one of these. You kind of bring, and if I go like this, does it move everything? No. AI buildings, holy shit. So the town hall is used to store foods and supplies near to feed and equip friendly AI. Any items placed in storage chests in this building will be detected by the AI and used must be built on foundations. Yeah. Built it. Okay. Friendly AI accommodations. Built it and place rescued AI in the beds of cure. Must be built on foundations. Oh, here we go. Repair kit. Craft and workbench. Used by the friendly AI to repair construction parts. Used to cure friendly AI. Mushroom, fish oil, raw liver. I don't think I have a raw liver. I don't know who has a raw liver on them. So we'll have to find a raw liver. Small medical kit. Bandage fish oil splint. Oh shit! Oh wait, they can give us raw liver, right? Hey, give me a raw liver. Yes. And where do I make this? Probably at the chemistry table, right? Yeah, there we go. Antibiotic. Will they? I don't think they come to us. I think we have to find the AI. So let's head to the local village. Fucking bears coming for you. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, they need to reduce this. Like a lot. Yeah, so it looks like you can just stun lock it. By like shooting it a lot. You see like this? So far, I haven't been hit by the mini boss once. Ah! 
So yeah, they just take a lot of hits. That's all. That's all there is to it. They take a lot of hits. So that seemed like a roaming one. Although I can't tell. Pretty close to the town. That could have been a town one, a roaming one, a daily one. It wouldn't have been a daily one because we haven't slept yet. So will the AI be in houses? Oh, is there any new tech? <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh my god, that came out of nowhere. You scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, that actually scared me. The first time this game is actually probably scared me. No new tech. Dude, okay. Developers, someone tell the developers right fucking now. They need to reduce the amount of big ones. Mini bosses, and they need to reduce the amount of town bambies. How many fucking is there? Look at this one, two, three, four. The AI buildings. Holy shit. See how big this is? Look how much space it takes up. You're definitely gonna need to put them somewhere else on a different level. So, this is the regular house. Oh, so I can give them a work priority list. Take care of plant pits, replenish log stands, and repair stuff. That's it, and then I can just choose. Well, that's kind of lame. <laughs> I don't have log stands, so. Uh, take care of plant pits, but then they do it themselves, sort of. Unless you're gonna put stuff away. I guess we'll go repair stuff, cause... Yeah, they definitely need more... More duties. You know? Like, cut down trees, some just basic shit that, like, we definitely don't want to do. You know? Mine rock. You know? Then we got the town hall, which is empty. What is this meant to do again? So, friendly AI accommodations built it in place, rescued AI in the bed to cure, must be built on foundations. The town hall is used to store foods and supplies needed to feed and equip friendly AI. Any items placed in storage chests in this building will be detected by and used. Must be built. Okay, that's kind of smart. <clears throat> right, I like that. I was saying something like that in my roadmap video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Where they need something where specific storage containers are the ones the AI will take. And that's kind of what they've done here. So any items placed in storage chests in this building will be detected by the AI and used. That's that's kind of smart. I like that. In a new wait, what? Where? There are new ones? Where are the new ones? Northeast? You mean that? On the road to the northeast town? I guess we can head there. On the road to the northeast town. Okay. It was on the road with the new barbed wire fence all around? Not in the town. I'm running out of gas. So there's the aluminium mine. That looks like it, eh? Hey, farmer. Looks like exactly what you're talking about.
Damn, there's a bed here. There? He was in the bed for you? Oh, for real? So, well, there's a house here. Why don't we check the house? No. House? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if you would be living anywhere, it would be in the house, right? But you were like spot on with the location. So not in the bed for me. I thought they might have just like, I will drive around a bit and look for other viewers. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I thought they might have just made him a like, z z what, what are they called? Zampires? Vampire? Va Zambies? Bambies? Bambies, that's it. I always just call them zombies. Yeah, I thought they might have just made him a zombie and that's why he didn't show up. Maybe down there? Central Road. There or out there. To go left now or go left at the end. I was curious about this because there's no village here. Like ages ago when I was looking for tech, episodes and episodes ago. I was like, what the fuck is this for? Well, I guess now we know, right? Oh, you good driving in this game? As you can see, not very good. So is he like always in the bed? What the hell is going on there? Pick him up. Bro, I, I got this for you. Use, use this. Dude. You gotta, you gotta pick him up and Oh my god. Okay, well we finally found him. That's so lame dude. The truck has room for like 10 animals. Man. I'm not saying it should be 10, but look at this. Ready? <sighs> Jesus Christ, he went fucking flying. Oh no, I'm ready to guess. There's no fucking way I'm carrying him all that way. If I teleport the truck, does he teleport with the truck? Garage. Probably want it facing that way. And then... Please don't play outside the garage. Yo! 
That's actually poggers. Look at that. Can I not pick them up? What's going on? There we go. I was I was pressing E. Was he choking? Okay. I gave the any bonus to Mike and he's standing in his bed somehow. Whoop! I'm gonna go 100, 100. No. He's in here. I'm gonna go zero out 100. What's he doing? He teleported inside somehow. Okay, so I think we need to give him some food, so let's do that. We got like all this food that's about to. Yeah, okay. I've heard complaints about that. Um, where you can hear him open doors from anywhere in the map. That sounds so fucking annoying. Get it. I like that he doesn't have thirst. That's actually handy. 99. Uh... Nine nine. You only get to nine nine. Okay, let's watch him do this. How does he do it? Did he just grab it? Does he have his own inventory? I put storage containers in there for him so he can put them in there if he wants. Oh shit! And then he waters it too. Wait, what? Does he just replant? I think he just replants because you get a one to one. It's a one to one ratio. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Um, straight away, keep in mind. Is that. Okay, he's already used up three hunger because he wasn't at a hundred. So something to keep in mind is that he's really slow at doing this. But at least you don't have to do it, right? And he also plants back the seed that was already there in the first place. So if you want different stuff, you're going to have to do it. And then you can get him to do it. Let's go make the repair kit while we wait. Developer, if you're listening, being able to bulk make these will be very, very helpful. Look at that we can make five. I don't even know what they do, but we can make five. Okay, let's go to sleep. Actually, I want to see what he's like. He will, he will go to sleep, won't he? Or does he just keep doing this all night till he runs out of hunger? Surely he goes to sleep, right? He's just like. Yeah, and then he puts the fruit away. I might need to make more chests for him. We're testing out the baiter. And we got our AI. I think he's just gonna do this all night. I don't think he needs to sleep. Ooh, prioritizing. That's interesting. So he's really slow at this as well. But the, the whole thing is like, you don't have to do it. So when version 13 officially comes out, I'll do a, like a 10 tips and tricks video on this probably. I'm in danger! Sorbo, thank you so much for following. Oh my god. Spikes here, you know, you could use these. There they are. That's a big guy, bro. Bro, they're so loud. I know.
Which one of these is that? Maybe the voice? What do you reckon? Try that. I swear to god, there was a big guy, right? There was a mini boss? Mike is pretty glitchy right now. Oh, there's the big boss! There he is! Okay. 13 Kevlar, nice. Because here we got the priority list so they can repair stuff, take care of plant beds, and replenish log stands. Hey, Mannix, if you're still there, is there anything I've missed so far? So we can use them when they're double stacked. And he kind of drinks cucumbers and corn. He also drinks meat. They need to fix that animation. What the fuck? He's not even opening his mouth. No, damn it. Damn it! Look, there's a mini boss as well. <laughs> so apparently, I killed it. And it's like right here somewhere. Now, I don't mind the destroying the fence for two reasons because I don't really care about the fence, and two, because. None of this progress is really going to matter in the long run. I'm not um, actually going to use this world. Even though this is my world, I'm not actually going to be using it. As you can see, it's very glitchy. and This is just the beta. Yeah, as, as part of my actual series. I just need to be, you know, addressed. Yeah, it's a full tank of gas crazy but imagine you're in a survival situation are you really gonna go the effort of building something called a pumpkin crate and then something called what a watermelon crate when you got a stone crate right there that looks the exact look at this can you guys look at this it looks the exact same just slightly bigger Look at it, look at the textures. Like, let me show you something. Look at the texture down here with that cut. It's there. Like, it's the exact same. Make sure you spin it around the right way and it's the, it's the exact same. Look, there's the off thing. There's the off, there's the off nail. You see what I'm saying? So they haven't done anything special here. Like, yes, it will be helpful. But however, it's the same thing. And if you were in a survival situation, this is something I've been considering a lot, right? When, you know, making a game for making a survival game and learning how to make one. Is when you're in a survival situation, are you really going to be that nitpicky about whether or not you need a pumpkin or a watermelon crate or a stone crate? No, you're going to do with what you got. And we got a stone crate that works. And obviously in these survival games, people like upgrading their life. They like making things better. And that's when you would go into something like an advanced storage crate or maybe it's made out of metal and it looks really cool and it fits double the amount of storage you know uh, maybe it has a lock on it but that's for the later stuff you know the, the right now stuff is just can I use this? And also, fuck, I heard him, I heard him, I heard him, I heard him. I think he's doing it. I think he's gonna repair shit, okay. So this is what he looks like when repairing.
I do. I, I think he also grabbed the stone hammer. We'll try and race him back. So I gave him 10. He, he already had 3 unless he repaired that. Oh, he's going to my house repairing that. So he, did, uh, he didn't grab the stone hammer. He does not need the stone hammer. Okay. So use all 10 up. He'll use however many you give him. Okay, that's really interesting. No, no, that is, that is, that's really, really interesting. Okay. I'm probably gonna want a garage in here somewhere. Especially since it doesn't cost anything to teleport. Let's give him some new priorities. Punish log stance. It's your only priority, mate. Replenish the log stance. So I'm just kind of testing him here. Seeing how his brain kind of works. So he's gone back to probably get some food or to check his priority list. Do I need to open the doors for him? He can open doors. Look, he can close doors too. What are you doing, mate? Oh, I thought I could walk through him and he teleported away. There's some logs for you. I gave you an axe. Did you take the axe? No. I wonder if if I give him um if I give him uh what do you call it? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a seagull. If I... Okay, so basically my question is, right, if I give him a repair kit, and then I say to him, like... Why well, don't I say to him? If I give him a repair kit, and then I take away the hammer, can he still do it? Or does he have his own hammer? I'm pretty sure he has his own hammer. Pretty sure. Okay, so he might be able to put that in there. So far he has not done his job. This is really annoying that he's not doing his job. Gotta be honest. Okay, cool. So we can pick up. You don't harvest, you pick it up. And then what? We can place it in here? So let's see how many they can hold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can hold 10 each, which is pretty good, I guess. Can you please do it? Let's put one in here for him. Look, I got a starter for you. I'm actually doing this job. Oh, yeah, he's running. That's probably a good sign. He's going to eat. Nice. The 19. 40. Okay, two cucumbers. 40 to... Well, 73? Okay. Like, I could tell someone... What the fuck? How did he do it that fast? I'm sorry, what? Oh, he just picks it up like that, does he? What? 
But he's not gonna go cut a tree for me or nothing. And he won't grab it off this or off a car. I gotta put it, so I, ju I just dump it on the ground like this. I have replenished log stands as one of his tasks. And then, okay. Well, that's kind of dumb, I think, you know. I feel like he should be able to grab it from my truck, from the cart. Um, otherwise, then why don't I just do it? You know what I mean? Or am I just going to leave logs everywhere on the ground and wait for him to do it? I feel like that's a problem with his task right now. It's like replenish log stands. Most likely I'm just going to be doing it. Oh wait, is he going to find logs? What was that? Oh, he's going to find logs. Yo, he's going to find logs I didn't even know I had. This is interesting now. Now we're getting interesting. Okay. So what I could do is, and because he doesn't take damage, you can just cut down trees. And then he'll go. Grab those logs and bring them back for you. You don't have to do anything. So let me um, go in here quickly. Grab my axe. So if I go over here, for example, and I just cut down this tree. How far will he go? If I go over here... And I cut down this tree. Is he gonna grab that? As long as there's space, will he grab it? So he is actually running all the way up here to grab these random ass logs. I'm just gonna make like a thing. I saw someone do this. They made like, oh, well, we can't really do it on a hill. But what they did right is make like a thing like this. And then they had like just a tiny gap. For them to get it through. But not the enemy. Now because I'm doing near these rocks. I'm gonna have to go like that. Yeah, like that. So it remains just like that. And then I'll probably need to put one down there. And there, 750, so pretty strong. So I think so far, this guy's best feature is the repair thing. It's just annoying that you have to build a repair kit. You can't just go around and repair stuff. Uh, the reason why I I'm say in that... I'm danger! Oh, what's your name? Uh, Athenon? Athenon. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it. Someone called Athenon rated my channel with 56 viewers, which is so amazing. Rating with any amount is so amazing. 56 is absolutely crazy. I'm Are you danger. kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Sugar fudge cookies follow my channel. Thank you so much, sugar fudge cookies. I can't believe what? 56 viewers. Hi, how am I doing? I'm doing awesome now. That's like, bro, that's like the second time that's happened to me in like a week. Um. You were way further along than I am on this game. Well, sort of, because this is the beta, right? I love your base. Thank you. Um, 
I have a cart and a dream. <laughs> yeah, I do have the truck in my series. If you want, you can um, go watch my series on my YouTube channel. I'm up to episode 10 so far. I... I'm in danger! <laughs> the, the only Jane, thank you so much. Uh, dude, like... Yeah, I, there's so much is going on. Okay, so basically, I I did use free build on this beta though, just to build like this AI stuff, just so I could test it out in this garage. But yeah, everything else I just copied the world over. I'm super slow in making my stuff happen. I mean, yeah, it can be pretty slow, especially with the truck. Um. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Um. Yeah, like I was saying, I had two... This is the second time I've been raided by, like, a lot of people. I'm not sure why the viewer thing doesn't update right now, but, um... But it's been pretty fun so far. Yeah, it is pretty fun so far. Um... Yeah, the other day... Mark scared the shit out of me just then. Yeah, like, when was it? Like, last week? Not even last week. Like, less than last week. Like, six days ago, five days ago. I was ready to playing Sea of Thieves with like 115 viewers. Dude, did he actually chop down a tree for me? Did he actually chop down a tree for me? That's what I want to know. Did he chop down a tree for me? I only have about 75 hours in this game, but most of that was quite a while ago. And Chua Cookie said yes, he did chop down a tree. We're going to go watch him. Yeah, thank you for rating me so much, and thank you to everyone who followed as well. Um, just like, so stunned. So much just happened right now. I gotta ask, what, what made you want to raid me? Thank you, have, have a good night as well. I want to see him chop down a tree. What is that little thing he does? Yeah, earlier I was saying like, Mike isn't that great right now. He's a, a very glitchy. You're the only other person. Oh, yo, he's chopping down a tree. Okay. You are the only other person playing infected, so I had to <laughs> pass on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That That's the best thing about this game. Like yesterday I played and I had like nine viewers. Like, eight viewers most of the time. And that's, like, really good for me. Most of the time, I have, like, one, two viewers. And, um, yeah, two hits to chop it down. I mean, if you do... If you go like this... Oh, where's a tree? That was a small tree, so where's a small tree? Here. If you go like this... Then it's really quick. Yeah, so eight viewers is, like, a lot for me. No, this game isn't co-op. That person's um, a friendly AI. Where the fuck did he go? He teleports like that and I don't know where he goes. Oh, he's over there. Alright. So that's, I think now, I was saying that I think his repair thing's the best. And then you guys raided me. Um... So the reason why I think his repair thing the, was the best, till I found out he would actually chop down a tree. Uh, anyway. So I was saying, yeah. I, the reason why I thought his repair thing was the best is because I can't always find where I need things repaired, right? I'll have, um... I'll be like, oh, is this repaired? Is this repaired? Does this need repairing? I never know. And he just kind of walks in and goes, yeah, that does, that does, that needs repairing, that does. And starts hitting it and does it in one go. But you do need to make repair kits for him. The plant beds one definitely isn't the best at all. It's definitely his worst one. Because it takes forever to replant, to water it. And that's all he does. He just replants the same thing and then waters it. I don't even know if he rewaters it. So these are the three things he can do. Replenish log stands, repair stuff, and take care of plant beds. There's nothing else he can do right now. But now, knowing that he can actually chop down a tree for you. Yo, like that? That is awesome. 
That's that definitely makes that the best one. Replenish log stands. That definitely makes that the best one. The only downside to that would be if you had like a tree as part of your base, you know, maybe maybe you have some trees in your base that you'd like having there as like part of nature. Or maybe you built your base around a couple of trees. Or maybe you're the type of person that, you know, specifically goes a little further out to get wood because you like having um, the trees around your base like really close. He's just going to get whatever tree he wants to. He doesn't care. So that's the only downside there. Right now, the AI cannot kill or hunt anything for you. I don't think he can be damaged either. But he cannot kill anything. They have plans to make to make that possible, to make hunting and killing possible. But right now it's definitely not possible at all. And if you were watching the stream earlier, you'd see man, like this guy is so glitchy. Like when he gets down to like even just 50 hunger, he's like doesn't know what to do, he'll glitch onto the roof. And when he opens a door, you can hear it from anywhere. It's so annoying. And then when I, I go in here, right? You, like, gotta give him food. And about two cucumbers gives him, like, something like 30, 35 health. Um, not health, hunger. So that's pretty good. Yeah, if you have any questions, just ask. Um, I don't think he needs these in here. I put them in there. I thought he might. But I'm pretty sure... He just has an axe, has a stone tool on him. You know? Has all the things he needs. He pulls out a watering can when going to water the plants, which makes me think, you know, that would be really handy for us. You know, before we have the water house, which is this thing, which uh, automatically waters anything in here. The game few months. Yeah. Well, we, we, there's no watering can, but that would be really handy. Unless they add new stuff, and I hope they do. Because like I was saying earlier, it would be really helpful if there was hunting. If, even if there was stuff like gathering rocks, you know, the small stones. In the same way. Because you have things like stone crates. So even if you could gather stones and then put them in the stone crates. That would be really, really handy. Um, I don't know. I think things like that. Um, yeah, two wax for him, no problem. I haven't seen him hit a big tree yet, though. Yeah, ten. So maybe it only hits down the small trees? I don't know. Oh yes, um, just to let you know, because we had to find this out the hard way. There's a new POI known as, you know, like a village. Where you can find, Mike, around this area. If you just drive up here past the aluminium cave. And then there's also one down here. I don't know if there are any others anywhere else. But those are the two spots. I found I found Mike down here. Um, so if you have a truck, it's going to be really easy. Because you're going to have to carry Mike back. So bring a cart with you if you don't have a truck. If you do have a truck, however, just do that. Put him in the truck. And if you run out of gas, you can just teleport the truck back in your garage and it will teleport Mike with you in the truck it will teleport him back in the truck as well he won't like disappear look at all these logs like that one isn't full yet that one isn't full yet see how he's just on the roof do you see that that's what I'm talking about There's some stuff in this game that they need to fix. And most of it happens when his hunger gets low.
He trying to hide from you? Nah. He wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, I don't think the 56 viewers that he rated with joined, because I, I do that sometimes, like, I'll, um, I'll be, like, watching someone on Twitch, and then they'll raid, and I'll, fi I'll forget to click the join thing, but, um, that's okay, I don't mind. It's just like a really nice, um, it's really nice that like, like I know there's like not anyone else, like no one else was playing, but it's still like really nice, you know, like they didn't need to or anything, and yeah, it's just nice. Also, you might have noticed the signs around my base. This is because in version 12.3, it would stop everything, it would stop bears it would stop zombies like there he is on the roof and they wouldn't be able to hit the fence from this and you could even just go here and destroy him but it seems in this version they kind of patch that out so now i'm just going to turn off building damage because i don't like building damage I don't want to be repairing stuff all the time. Maybe when they get a better repair system in, I'll fix, I'll turn it back on. But yeah, this game doesn't have the best repair system. It's kind of just like a hammer and then you go, oh, well, I need, you know, six planks, 20 iron fragments to repair, like, no thanks. Okay. Someone pointed out to me, the raccoon sounds like a horse. Now that's all I hear. Um, I think that's everything. Where's Mike at? I want to get a picture with Mike. Not on the roof again, is he? There he is. I gave you food? Dude, this is like, oh man, I was gonna get a screenshot. That would have been like such a clickbaity picture. Come on. I don't want to get it when it's glitching. It's like getting a photo when you're blinking. I think that that'll work. If I make if I do a YouTube video, I might use that as a thumbnail. You were here for it. Um, I'm pretty hungry and I got a lot of stuff to do. So I might end it here. However, thank you for watching. And by the way, vlogs, vlogs, frogs glow blue for some reason. I hope they turn that off because that is really annoying. Look at that. And thank you to Athenon. I know he's gone, but thank you for rating and following. Did he follow? Oh, he didn't follow. That's okay. Thank you to the only Jane for following. Sugar Fudge Cookies. Oh, Athena did follow. Thank you for following. And thank you to Sobo as well for following. He was here earlier. And who was... Oh, let me scroll up for a second. Oh, and thank you to Hey Manix for all your help. And Palmer Marks for coming back again. And again, thank you so much, Athena, for rating. That was really cool. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and click the top right corner or these other boxes for more infected content. If you want to see me live, go check out my Twitch. I stream there every day. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.